There are two types of hydrostatic pressure. One acts on static fluid, whereas other acts on a dynamic fluid. The one that acts on static fluid is the real pressure, which is given by. This pressure is measured from the water surface and increases with fluid depth. But hydrostatic pressure that acts on moving fluid is not pressure in real sense because its value depends upon the reference level selected. This pressure is applied on Bernoulli's equation between two points passing through same streamline. And they cancel out if those two points lie on the same straight line. That's why they are not real pressure. So be careful. Unlike hydrostatic pressure on static fluid, which increases with the fluid depth, this hydrostatic pressure term decreases with the fluid depth. Okay. That's the difference. Now again there is great confusion between static pressure of moving fluid with hydrostatic pressure of static fluid. They both again are different kind of pressure but relate to each other mostly on ideal fluid cases. If you consider an open channel flow having ideal fluid which is moving at constant velocity, and if P1 is the static pressure at point 1, then pressure below point 1 can be found by treating this moving fluid as static 1. So static pressure at point 2 will be. Look. Here you use the hydrostatic formula for getting static pressure on moving fluid. But if the fluid is accelerating, then you cannot apply this formula. Static pressure will be different in this case. So, static pressure is equal to hydrostatic pressure in open channel flow. If the fluid is ideal, and is moving with constant velocity. But this is not the same case for same ideal fluid flowing inside a pipe with constant velocity. Here the fluid is closed inside the pipe and is not open to the atmosphere. If P1 is the pressure at point 1, then pressure at point 2 would be. Unlike open channel flow, static pressure in this pipe would not be equal to hydrostatic pressure. Because here the water molecule will also push us to 2 perpendicular in every direction. So it is pressurized and static pressure in this case would be greater than hydrostatic pressure. You can use piezometer tube to visualize static pressure. Use it on open channel flow. Since the flow is not pressurized, the level of water here, in this case would be same as that of water surface. But if this piezometer is fitted on pipe, water will rise against gravity, and this height is the pressure created by pressurized water pushing the pipe perpendicular to its surface. So, the static pressure at point 1 is pressure due to internal pressure, plus, pressure due to weight of fluid, which is hydrostatic pressure. I hope now you understand the difference between static and hydrostatic pressure. There is another one called a dynamic pressure. If you put a ball on ideal moving fluid, and if the ball has the same velocity of the fluid, then the ball shall experience static pressure only. But if the ball is fixed at one point, 
then the ball shall experience both static and dynamic pressure of this fluid. Here the ball is completely trying to stop fluid near its location. And in order to stop local fluid or reduce its velocity to zero, it needs to do some work against it. And hence the ball experience total pressure. If the ball can stop fluid without any energy loss, then it completely experiences dynamic pressure. You can visualize this dynamic pressure with a P-top tube. When fixed at a point, it experiences both static and dynamic pressure. But if this P-top tube has same velocity of the fluid, then it experiences static pressure only. The sum of static and dynamic pressure is known as stagnation pressure. So, the ball and P-top tube experience stagnation pressure if they both are fixed at a point. But if they move relative to fluid, then they experience static pressure only. That's why piezometer is measured perpendicular to flow, so that it cannot disturb fluid velocity and be able to measure static pressure only. Where P-top tube is fitted parallel to flow, so that it can experience stagnation pressure. 